Hey, what's going on guys? Mike Anderson here with Living Motion Monograms and the 1% Solution. And today we are gonna be showing you how to build an 11,000 lumen projector. Now to do this, we're going to need a couple things. We've got two Optima EH515 projectors. We've also got a couple HDMI cables and an HDMI splitter, uh, which will actually split our, sing our single signal into uh, two outputs. Uh, now you can do this with VGA if you happen to uh, be wanting to use a uh, VGA cable for this, but the catch to it is that you're, you are going to have to go in uh, with VGA and then you can use the VGA out on the back of the projector uh, to go to your second projector itself. But you do have to go VGA in in order for the VGA out to work for this. All right, what do you say we get everything hooked up, ready to go? Now to get things started, what we're gonna do first is actually, let's go ahead and stack these on top of each other. Now when you do this, what you, the, kind of the goal to it is that you wanna make sure that the lenses are as close to uh, exact same the uh, the lenses themselves are pretty much vertical to each other in the same placement this is going to make things a lot easier later on and let's go ahead and get our power and stuff connected and our hdmi cables plug those cables directly into our splitter. And get this. Plugged into the back of our laptop. Let's get these projectors fired up. Now, as the projectors are firing up, let's talk a little bit about the technology that goes into making this even possible. Okay, first, for starters, uh, the EH515 has what's called four corner keystone, which means that uh, we can actually align not just the top and bottom of the image in order to make it look uh, normal at any angle, but we can actually grab each corner and adjust the corners even slightly just to match them up. So four corner keystoning is kind of one of those things. It's kind of a must for when it comes to, you know, utilizing this uh, image stacking uh, capability. Uh, plus the EH515 also has vertical and horizontal lens shifting um, on the projectors themselves, which makes things a whole lot easier, which we're gonna show you a little bit about in just a second. Now, as you can see here, we've got two images up on the wall. That's actually come from both projectors here. And as we kind of scroll down here to the projectors, you're going to see that uh, both projectors are stacked on top of each other. Uh, I was talking a little bit about the horizontal and vertical keystone adjustments. Um, and it's not just keystone, but it's, it's the horizontal and vertical lens shift adjustments. And right on the side here, you can actually see that it has horizontal shift and then as we look towards the top of the projector, you can see that it's got vertical shift right there. And so this is gonna make things a whole lot easier when it comes to adjusting those images. Uh, now with these projectors, now that we have these connected to the laptop, one of the first things that we are gonna to wanna to do is actually go into our menu settings. And I'm gonna bring you guys up here to the screen. And right on the remote itself, I'm gonna show you guys something here. See this pattern here at the top? Now, if we push that button, 
it's going to let us actually select a couple different things. There's grid, and I know it's going to be hard to focus in on those, but it says grid there in the, uh, in the menu box. And then there's white, which is going to blur everything out and none. So we're actually going to use our grid pattern for this. And I'm going to get the uh, camera set up here so that you guys can actually see exactly how we make the adjustments. But go ahead and leave it on grid. Um, and we'll take it from there. Now the grid pattern itself is going to kind of show you guys, uh, it looks pretty jarbled up right now, but if I cover the top lens, you can see where the bottom projector is actually projecting. And then if I go to cover the bottom lens, you can see what's the top projector is actually projecting. And so our goal is to actually line those two up uh, completely. And I, you know, the first thing that we can do in order to line these up is gonna be uh, just making adjustments to the feet themselves. And so if we have any room on the top projector, we can bring it down some more. much as possible. Kind of center these up just a little bit. And then what we can start doing is uh, making adjustments to our vertical lens shift. And so I'm gonna do the bottom first and bring this up so that we have a nice starting point. And then we can use the vertical shift on the top. And then we can start making adjustments to our side, which is our horizontal. And bring this in a little bit. And we can do some fine tuning just a little bit later. Now the next step is going to be going, we're going to go ahead and make adjustments using our four corner keystone. Now we want to be able to do this with one projector at a time. And so if we're going to cover up the top one and just get an idea here, we're going to go into our menu and our second box here at the top which is going to be display come down to geometric correction and our four corner now by looking at this I know that we need to bring this top in just a little bit and go down to our bottom one we can go ahead and hit that enter button and that's going to allow us to make those corrections And this top looks like it needs to come down a little bit. And in. All right. So now we've got our top one set. We're going to go ahead and uncover the bottom. And this is where it can get tricky just because the infrared sensor is going to pick up both remotes. So what's probably a lot easier to use is the menu button on the back of the projector. We're going to go ahead and go into four corner keystone and our bottom projector, select that top. The lower right, the lower left, sorry. from the top
Now, these buttons are reactive, and so if you the slower you push them, the smaller the increments will go. So as you get close to that fine-tuned kind of point, then go ahead and slow down how fast you push those buttons, and it will allow you to make smaller increments of adjustments. may have to go back to your other top projector and make some final adjustments. Let's get them all lined up. Now once we have our grids lined up, we can go ahead and get rid of our pattern. And just like that, 
We've got our screen set up. Now obviously you're going to want to put these projectors on a very solid surface because if they get jolt, you know, jolted at all, they're going to start to come out of focus. Now if that is does happen at your event, it's pretty easy, for example, to be able to use the, the dials in order to bring those back into uh, their right position and uh, give you a nice clear, crystal clear image. Now, as you can see here, we've got both projectors projecting on the exact same plane, and so a nice, crisp, clear image. And as I cover up, say, one of the lenses, you can see how it just alters the uh, the look of it just a little bit. And I can start bringing it back in. And it's obviously hard to tell on, on video because it is going to make those adjustments. Um, but seeing it seeing it up front in real life it is amazing how much more power how much more uh a little horsepower you get and how crystal clear that image is when you do stack both projectors on top of each other to give you just a great image So there you have it guys, a very simple and easy way to turn your 5500 lumen projector into an 11,000 lumen projector for those situations where you need a little bit more power. Uh, a couple of quick tips on this obviously is going to be uh, you want to make sure that when you start off you have your projectors on a nice firm mounting surface because you don't want to have to make adjustments all throughout the night because the thing gets jolted or jarred around. So uh, make sure you find that nice firm surface uh, or mounting surface to put them on to start. Uh, second, one of the things you might notice is that if you are using an HDMI splitter, sometimes it will confuse your computer as far as extending your desktop out. A uh, quick tip for that is you may want to try and start off by just plugging in one projector to the uh, splitter. Once you get the desktop up, on that one projector, then go ahead and plug in the signal to your second projector and uh, it should work just fine if you have any issues in that aspect. So I uh, appreciate it. I hope you guys hope this video has helped you out. If it has, make sure you hit that like button down at the bottom below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so that you get updated on uh, any new videos that get released and new tips and tricks for you. Uh, once again, Mike Anderson here with Living Motion Monograms, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Oh,